I wanted to make a quick video. Some people are having a problem putting this atrius together. So basically, whenever your safety selector is in your safety, this little hash mark here that's in cut out should be facing towards the front of you. And then the safety also, that's in the safe position. Now, whenever they're installed inside, uh, of course, they'll have the spring and everything on it like that. But whenever you shove it inside there and you've got your spring and your lever on, uh, and you've got the, the hash mark pointing in the right direction, and you put this on here, there's a point where it, it connects to each other. Okay? Uh, and it locks into place right there. Okay? So if you put it in there and, and you just kind of don't feel it locking and you just feel it kind of spree, free, free spinning a little bit, turn it and make sure that it's locked in. That little groove there. If you look at it, you can see there's a little slot there and it fits in here like that. Now, whenever you put it in there, the lower, you're going to want this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, detent hole. Uh, there's three of them because it's three position. So you've got three of them. You're going to want it like this. You see how the first one is, is like that. And when it's in that position right there, that's what it should look like whenever it's inside of here. You don't want it to be spun around to the other side because then it's not going to work. That's the whole purpose of this little little notch here. It's to let you, let you know if those detents are in the in correct position. So if you got the grip, you've got it installed, and it's pointing in the direction of the uh, barrel of your rifle, that's what it's going to be like in safe position. Then when you switch it to fire, it'll be straight up. And then whenever you flip it to the third position, it's going to be pointing back towards you, the person holding the firearm. And it, just like that. So when it's in that position, it'll look like that. When it's in the semi position, it's going to be pointing up, which this will be pointing up. And then when you switch it, to safe, it's going to be pointing in that direction, and it's going to be pointing like that. But the key thing is, is when you put this all together, you put your spring on first, then you put your arm, and you want to make sure that these three detent holes are facing towards the, the buffer tube, and you slide your arm on, making sure it's facing towards the buffer tube, and then you take your selector, and when you put it on, rotate it just a little bit, and when you feel it, when you feel it go into the to the spot there. Oops, let's get it. Go in here. There. Once it clicked into place, we've got it just like that. So, just remember that. Then you'll take your detent, of course, I mean your screw, and of course, while you're holding it to make sure it stays in that position, like right now I feel it click in, I'll just hold it like this. Drop your little 4140 screw down in there. And just tighten it up right quick. And when you get it tightened up, you don't have to over tighten it now. But when you when you do this, you shouldn't feel it spinning at all. Uh, of course, it will be in your lower at that point. But I know some people are putting these in and they're saying something doesn't feel right. It's moving this way or that way. It, it could be the fact that you're not lining it up. And uh, that's why. But if you just do it like that, make sure the safety selector... 
is pointing towards your barrel with your barrels on this end and that hash mark right there is pointing towards your barrel also but you're not going to have any problems with having it installed correctly and putting your spring in on first on the shaft first then your lever and then once you get it installed make sure your hammer is down and make sure this lever is pushed forward then close your upper on it and pin it and then you're, you're ready to go